Hi everybody, Captain Bill Safe the Third. It's time for a quick tip on weight rods and how to fish them for brown trout. Each and every year I get questions about why weight rods are so dynamic and how we set them up to be successful on brown. This is our first installment of the Bill Safe Outdoors video short. Quick tip, this one's on weight rods for brown trout. We're going to set a weight rod right here for you and take you through the setup of what we're using here in the clear water. We've picked a great clear water spoon. That one there is the caddy shack, hammered caddy shack. And we're going to show you exactly what we're doing to set this up. Now we're going to use a 9 16 ounce weight. Those of you who have attended our brown trout seminars know that that's the size that we use. And we're going to let 60 feet line out. We're going to pinch that split shot on the line and let another 40 feet out. So it's 100 foot flat line right down the perimeter of the prop wash. Browns come into that in shallow water. They're attracted by the disturbance and this weight rod's going to be a dynamic way to catch fish in today's video. So let's drop this in the water and we're going to put it back on our counter. We'll zero our counter here on our Okuma 20D and we're going to run this thing back to uh, 60 feet. One thing that you want to be careful of when you're fishing skinny, skinny water with the spoons, every once in a while when you're peeling line out like this, stop and just let the spoon float up in the water column just a little bit. You don't want to dump it too quick. All right, here we come in. We're coming in on 60 feet. We've got 60 feet right there. So now we're going to take a 9 16 uh, weight right here. And we're going to open it up. This one happens to be a Water Gremlin SP0 is what you want to is what what you want to search for. So we'll hold that right in. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to take it and we're going to gently pinch that on the line. It'll just hang there like that. And now we're going to let another 40 feet out. And all we're doing that for is just to get it a tiny bit down in the water column further than our flat line boards and right down the edge of that prop wash. That disturbance that you see here at the back of the boat is attractive to browns and they come swimming right in on the edge of that and here comes that bait just a little deeper in the water column and ready to go. Now you can see that we're at 100 feet right here. We're going to engage this reel and we want to set a very light drag easy so that when that fish hits it in this flat holder, he can pull it right over and take lines. So here's, here's where we're gonna set it, right here to the side. You can see it's almost in a flat position like that. Goes right down the edge of the prop wash, inside our planer boards, and when that fish hits it, he's just gonna slam that rod over, and that's the principle behind it. Man, look at that rod. weight rod smash right there. Come on right here, Gary. We're tripled up right here. There's that weight rod right there, step right in there. Move right into the corner. Kyle, you're in the middle. Nobody's at the wheel. Sean's over on the left-hand side. Step right into the right, right there. Gary, hold tight right there. Nice job, we're tripled right up here. Running our clear water pattern. I think I'm over the top. Uh, hold on a second. Let me see your rod for a second. Yep, go over the top, go over the top. Let's take that. Take okay, Gary, walk. He's Sean's up there, Billy. I'm gonna pull that board rod off right now. There you go, step right into that corner, Sean. How we doing, Kyle? Brown's up here. Kyle's brown's here. Nice fish too. Good chunk. Easy on him. Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. Keep winding, we gotta get a little closer. Stop winding now, He's as far as you can go. Raise your rod tip, don't let it touch anything but can. Get it, Billy. Okay, he's coming back with it. Dump pal, you wanna take the wheel for me? Bring your red throttle down just a little bit. Easy, Gary. Get him, Bill. Okay, there's number two. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do the same thing on that. Hold right tight here. Here comes number three, wind down. Oh, nice chunk. Raise your rod tip, buddy, back him up. Get him, Bill. There's a nice fatty right there. Coming on the Black Magic. That's a good chunk of a brown right there. He's a dandy coming on the Black Magic. This guy hit the uh, 
Caddyshack. Grab the pliers here, Bill, and let's shake this Caddyshack fish back. Grab that spoon. He's right under there. He batted at it. Oh, Miss it. There you go. Perfect. We'll uh, pick him up and we'll go right in the we'll go right in the lake with that guy. Oh, trying to see him go. There you go. Let's have a look at that. There's the bait that came out of the stomach. Let's take a look at let's take a look at the tail of that bait right here. Show everybody what's going on there. That fish is coming in from deep water because there's not a lot of alewives on the shore this spring. And uh, there's a fully digested mature alewife right there. So, and this water as it cleans up, running a lot of those baits that simulate that, Sean. Not surprising he took that. All right. Working to, working to perfection. Let's bat him. And we'll get a picture of you and Sean with that. I'm gonna get over on this other we'll side. Right there. He's a dandy coming on the Black Magic. We knew that one was a little better fish, didn't we? Yes, definitely. Uh, well that board started going back. He was jumping, wasn't he? Yeah, coming right out, out of the water. water. Yeah, came right out of the water. He's a good one. We've left a couple holes there in the limit today. We've been releasing a lot of fish. So that guy... Great fish, boys, and super action. A perfect example of how weight rods marry in with the board program up on the surface. Sometimes that's how they work. On other days, weight rods can be responsible for up to two-thirds of your catch. You need to run them for spring rounds. I'm Captain Bill Safe the Third. I hope you enjoyed this Bill Safe Outdoor Short and this quick tip on fishing weight rods for Brown.